Hey guys, Mike, your host of Craft Beer Storm. How are you doing today? It's Wednesday. That means uh, we got uh, beer styles. So go down to the Great American Beer Festival list. Actually, I'm going there. Awesome. And uh, when this comes out, yeah, I'll be there. I'm, I'm going there this week. <laughs> I'm going there tomorrow when this goes out. And it should be a great time. Uh, great people out there. A lot of good beer. Just a good good environment. If you don't, if you get a chance, go out to the Great American Beer Festival at least once. Just a fantastic time. Everybody's happy. There's beer. It's fantastic. Um, hey, and also we have a craft beer weekend coming up at the uh, the Victoria Inn in Hampton. And um, we, we got Friday. You know, it's going to be on October twenty uh, fifth for that weekend. And Friday night we got uh, food and beer pairings. Um, we bring a brewer in, and we'll have like a Q and A session. Any questions you have? We'll talk about the beers. Saturday, we have a bus picking you up. It's going to take you to uh, three breweries. You go there for samples, probably a tour. Learn how the beer is made. It's good stuff. We also give you a presentation too uh, about the history of beer, how beer is made. Take care of you. And then uh, after that, on, on Saturday evening, there's a, a dinner. And uh, you get a uh, certificate for a percentage off of dinner. And then uh, Sunday, you get hooked up with brunch. Uh well, we get make mimosas, beer mimosas. Why not? Uh, so we we pair beer with eggs, kegs and eggs. And if you want, if you like some more information, go on to www.craftbeerstorm.com. The links are all there for uh, Victoria N. We got more scheduled. Uh, I got to got to solidify them, but we we're talking to hotels uh, both uh, here in New England, also in the New York area. So stay tuned for that. Got Crown, uh, Crown Plaza on White Plains. Getting that going. Got Hotel Portsmouth here. That's that's moving. And then we got other ones that are scheduling. So uh, stay tuned. And today the beer style is the American style strong pale ale. And strong would mean uh, ABV. It's like a high alcohol beer. Uh, so the color on this is a deep golden to copper. And the clarity, uh, a chill haze is acceptable at low temperatures, and hop hails, haze is allowable at any temperature. So this is like a uh, like a hazy beer, hazy beer. And they're more and more popular as you move along. People love them. The perceived malt aroma and flavor, uh, low caramel malt aroma is allowable. And low level of maltiness may include low caramel malt character. The perceived hop aroma and flavor, the hop aroma and flavor is high, exhibiting floral, fruity, berry, tropical stone fruit, and other sulfur, diesel-like, onion, garlic, caddy, citrusy, piney, or resinous character that was originally associated with American variety hops. And hops with those attributes also originate from countries other than the USA. So it's a very aromatic beer. It's an experience, very tasty beer. Uh, the perceived bitterness on this one is high. So it's a high bitter, high beer, high bitter beer. Uh, the body is medium, and the ABV on this is a five point six to seven point zero. So it's getting up there. And the glass already served in is a gr- good old pint glass. Although I've seen these served in nice Belgian glasses, you know you want to get the whole experience. So uh, it could be either one. <clears throat> but examples from the GABF winners list in two thousand eighteen. Uh, the gold medal went to Green Battles IPA, and that was from Pint House uh, Pizza North, and they're in Austin, Texas. Everybody's like Austin's booming. Everybody loves Austin. Everybody I talk to who lives in Austin is just like fantastic there. I gotta go. Anyway, it's six point three ABV, right? It's a nice beer, and those from the brewery a rarefied fresh. Hop double dry hop the rendition of our 2018 Great American Beer Festival and 2018 World Beer Cup gold medal winning Green Battles IPA. So they made they made the Green Battles and then they they took it a step further. They dry hopped it even more. Uh, the supercharged freshly freshy is getting a first dry hop treatment this week and with Chinook, Amarillo, and 200 pounds. Man, a freshly harvested mosaic overnighted from Yakima, 
hitting the tank. That's crazy stuff. It's a lot of hops. <laughs> At 10 pounds of hops per barrel, man, this is sure to be one of the most gregariously and luxuriously hop beer of 2019. This celebrated IPA yields juicy, mouth-watering stone fruit, citrus, and mango notes throughout, along with a nice, crisp, and dry finish. So that's an awesome beer. That's why I won gold. Sounds delicious. The silver medal went to Easy Runaway, and that's from Old Schoolhouse Brewery in Winthrop, uh, Washington. And they're at a 5.9% ABV. And notes uh, notes about the brewery. Uh, at our small brewery, we are all about beer. Actually, that's trademarked. We are all about beer. It's trademarked by them. I don't know. There you go. We strive to create microbrews that satisfy the discerning hop head as well as those that prefer a lighter taste. Unique to Winthrop, our brewery uses chlorine-free water that flows from the pristine North Cascade Mountains. That must be delicious. This clean and contaminated water helps enhance the natural flavors of the malts and hops, bringing you a superior beer drinking experience. It's all about the water, guys. If you have bad water, you're making bad beer. We have that fresh water. It's like in Vermont, they have awesome water. Stayed in a hotel there. Just drank the water out of the faucet. I'm like, my God, this is delicious. And they're making beer there with this stuff. So something's good stuff. Mountains, mountain water, excellent stuff for beer. So that's what we have for you today. That's your American style strong pale ale. Hoppy, beautiful, hazy. People love it. I love it. It's great. And um, yeah, go on iTunes. Give us a rating and a review. October 25th, crappy weekend at the Victoria Inn in Hampton, New Hampshire. Glorious Hampton, New Hampshire. We take you all over the place. We'll take care of everything for you. Okay. That's what I have for t- for you today. I wish you a great uh, Wednesday, and we will see you on Friday. Take care. Mm-hmm.